welcome back to another exciting edition of ChiefTutor.com. Aren't you excited? I know I'm not. I had a question. I didn't have a question. Actually, I had a client send in a concern with fillers. They want to do, uh, you know, fill the corners and sides of uh, countertops and cabinets and I don't know what. So anyways, we're going to be messing with fillers here at ChiefTutor.com. Well, let's take a look at the model and the problem that she's having. And forgive me while I smack my lips. I just had something delicious to eat. So here is the problem. Oh, I see. That's very nice. It's very nice kitchen. All right. Some of the first things I would notice is just the backsplash. I know you're probably like, Dave, I didn't call in for this. Why are you giving me this information? But if I just stretch it even a little long, it'll kind of fill those corners in a little bit better with their magic countertop tool. And it should erase around the corner. So anyways, it looks a little bit better. This is 12 inches deep, this is 12 inches deep, and this is, as I noticed from the floor plan, quite a bit deeper. So I'm going to make it 12 because that's what it is in real life. I can just shrink it back like that, or I can double click it, open up its specifications, and force it to be 12, which it is, and I'm very happy with that. Also, I'm going to take this cabinet right back to the corner, and I'm going to take this cabinet right back to the corner. Now, you're probably asking, Dave, why are you taking it back to the corner? Don't ask stupid questions. Just listen. So now I'm going to move into this corner, and I'm going to drop it right about there. And I'm going to take this corner and move it right in about here. Now, you notice Chief is not completing the angle there, and that's pretty common for Chief Architect in the cabinet tools because it wants you to use a filler. Um, I'm then going to readjust this microwave because I don't think it's a back against the wall. Yeah, see, it's got some space there. So I'm just trying to get it a little bit more accurate for you. I'm going to take that and shove it all the way back against the wall. And there we go. Pretty snazzy. It looks like it can go down just a little bit too. So let's get into the fillers and see what the fillers can do with Chief. It's pretty exciting stuff. So if you wanted to leave your wall cabinet the size of your microwave or close to it, I'm just going to shrink it down there, you'll have enough room to build in fillers. Now you'll notice under the build tab, there's this cabinet filler and I can choose wall filler and I can kind of move it into place and click it one time and you'll notice it created the filler and then it created the angle for us. So that's exactly what we want to achieve to do. So I'm just going to left click one time and it created the filler for us. So let's go back to the 3D and see it kind of built that filler straight in here and straight in there. Now it didn't exactly match all that well because of a few items. One, the crown molding. And then two, this one filled, but it didn't look like that one filled. So we're just going to readjust a little bit in order for it to make that happen. First thing I need to know is what is that molding. So I'm going to double click your cabinet. And in your moldies tab, you use California-32, CA-32, baby. So I'm going to double click this bad boy. And I'm going to go to moldings. And I'm going to replace what you have with CA-32, which is right there. Click OK. Click OK, 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 OK. And then hit spacebar. And look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, I should have shift selected that one and done that one as well. So I'm going to have to follow the same steps. Go to molding. Go to replace. Go to 32. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. No, you don't need to click that many OKs. And then I'm just going to rotate around. Look at that bad boy. And you can do the same with the base cabinets below. Now, if you're trying to put a door front there as opposed to a filler, you could do that as well. Now, one, you can select the filler and just apply a door panel to it. Or you can come around here and depending on what size of cabinet you're trying to get in, like you just forced one into the corner, which is fine. It doesn't necessarily have to be 24 deep. What if you made it a little shallower? You know, you could do stuff like that if you want to. If you want to. But see how the countertop just kind of misrepresented itself as it changed the angle. So you were pulling it back to grab that angle. So I would have to put another filler in here in order to cover up the base part which side was I working on I believe it was this side the left side yeah so this side here if I needed to pull that um, panel there or I can simply I guess grab this I'm just gonna shift select it you know 
more over into the cabinet. And that way it kind of finishes off that way too and you're kind of forcing it in. You just want to remove the extra molding that you have here and put a polyline molding. That way you don't have this overrun like it's doing here. So that's been messing with fillers here at chieftutor.com. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned something new. But if you didn't, you can always turn on the television and learn something new. It's usually bad news, but um, you can always learn something. Am I still smacking my lips? I'm always smacking my lips.